The next step is to create a repository. We are already in the screen, so let's go ahead and create it. Note that we have designated Phil as the lead team member. The others will eventually copy or clone the repository that we are going to create now as Phil. So click on Create Repository. Let's fill in the form. We leave the workspace, but we enter a project name. I'm going to create a project of GMS2 games. The repository name is going to be Tower, as we are creating a tower defense game. We will leave it as a private repository. And let's leave all the other defaults and then click Create. And we're done. So that's the end of the second step. In the next step, we will clone our repository onto our local machine. And that just means copy the repository onto our machine. Once we have done that, there will be a central repository on Bitbucket and a local repository on our machine. This means that we will be able to work on our local repository and push changes to the central repository. Team members will then be able to pull changes from the central repository to their local repositories. In order to do that, we will need to download and install Git if we don't already have it. And we will do that in the next step.